I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Redmaw. When I gave him my trophies, Assi said you should be spending more time finding Redmaw than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Redmaw right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. You want to help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, Ilsadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glinthawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Assis should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. About time you showed up! More Glen Hawks incoming!
Should have brought a cart. That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. It seems like they're coming from upriver. I could track them back to the source, but if more come here... I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand. Snapmaw carcasses everywhere. No wonder the Buntalks were drawn here. Those blinds up there concentrate fire on a target. Makes it impossible to fight back. It's a cheat, and a wasteful one, too. Amateurs will leave easy tracks to follow.
These must be the snap. I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. Seems your kill zone is creating a Glinthawk problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough Snapmaw hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that, but Glinthawks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? No one wins if we fight. Surely we can reach a compromise somewhere short of death? We've been harvesting Snap Maw hearts for days. I only need one more, and then I can settle my debt and save our home. If I get the last heart, do you promise to stay away? It's a good deal. Yabasha took a hard hit with that last one. Okay, fine. We need the shards. I'll do this for you once, and once only. Stay here till I get back.
Now to bring this back to those hunters. There, the heart you need. Now what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. Keep it that way. Aloy. Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. You were watching the whole time? Of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was, a hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait, are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating a cease? <sighs> I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements, and Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. She did save his life. But I'm sure he'll listen to your prejudice over his own common sense. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of Venora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge! Even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. Uh, had enough of work. This. This is a good day. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? 
My family has always boasted members in the Lodge. My father and brother were both Hawks. Assis let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um, what sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as Hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. I didn't know. I'll remember that. What happened in the massacre? King Jiran's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sun Ring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more Hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. What happened to the men in the Sun Ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A Thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the lodge itself. I have to unseat a cease. Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Now that Prince Edaman has returned to Meridian, it's a war of truly... Two new thrushes in one day. Makes a hawk proud. Who else just became a thrush? Ardic. I see him rising to the top very quickly. He reminds me of myself at his age. What will you say when I bring in a Thunderjaw trophy? <laughs> That's a wonderful goal. Perhaps you can have Ardic give you some tips. Do you know where Red Ma is? I do not. Rumor of it spreads quickly within the Lodge. As soon as it is spotted, it disappears again. Can you tell me what happened during the massacre? A terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sundom. He even called out members of our Lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. And for that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the Sun Ring. I shouldn't say more. Please, tell me what happened that day in the Sun Ring. Normally, victims of the Sun Ring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. But not with our Hawks. They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. 
Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed and watched till nightfall. What happened in the sun ring at nightfall? The sun had set, and only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating spectator and fighter alike. It was a slaughter. And how did the battle in the Sun Ring come to an end? Talana's father climbed atop a behemoth and with one well-placed spear destroyed it, just as a second knocked him to his death. Her brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. I must say I'm surprised by your achievements, bringing in a stalker already. Save your surprise. I'm just getting started. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander?
That's the one that tried to kill us. Where's Talana? Maybe upstairs. No CC either. Just maybe Ligon knows where they are. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Though, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. That sounds like her.
You can see them. They can't see you. Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride, even though he knew we needed to unseat Assis. where Assis and Redmaw went from me. I can follow their tracks. This way. Redmaw destroyed these trees. There he is. Redmaw. Assis is holding his own. Was, was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us.
get it. Hello there, beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora, filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive, in dark times. No, you buried it, along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight Redmore first, to soften him up. Yeah. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. Okay then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Cherry's brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. A memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. So, what's it like to be Sunhawk? It feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here, if you want it. What happens now, in the Lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This Lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk, Gravid, Khan, Morza. 
Hawk Sarav Khan Pier. Hawk Yusalin Karn Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And son Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people to follow. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora. <laughs> May you always take your prey. Cutting up on it. 